And after you leave a like, remember to smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. And remember to hit the notification bell so every time I post a video you can know right away. Subscribe, 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 subscribe! What's up my YouTube friends, viewers, subscribers, everybody. Welcome back to another banger motivational video. You guys already know what time it is. Let's get it. I'm going to teach you guys what's the best revenge. And you guys that know me probably wondering, oh, this is probably some mastermind plan right now. I'm going to tell you something. No, no, scrap that. The best revenge, and this may be mind blowing for some of you guys. The best revenge is no revenge. And I'll explain why. When a person do you something, when they betrayed you, lied to you, accused you, no matter what they did, as long as they did you wrong, it is simply human nature for them to sit down and prepare themselves for you to attack. So with that being said, if a person did you wrong, like I said, they sit down and they wait on you to attack. They mentally prepare themselves every single day, draining their own energy, bracing themselves. So when you hit them back, they are prepared. But now, if you have no intent on taking no form of revenge, then they're going to suffer. And I'll tell you why again. Because... Say a person, say, stole from you. And you know, they're expecting you to confront them or steal from them back. No, you let it slide. You know why? Every day, they're going to be checking their stuff, waiting on you to steal something back from them. Every single day. That's human nature. The moment a person do something to somebody, they wait until the person is about to do the same thing and they brace themselves in case the person hits back harder if you understand what i mean so when you take no revenge you forgive them for yourself obviously not for them you forgive them you let it go and you move on that's the best revenge ever ever every wise person know this for some of you guys may think that no if they hurt me i i i want to attack it, it's gonna be hard trust me because when you're in rage, it's hard for you to think clearly. That's why you can't make decisions while you're angry. So, with that being said, a person do you something, the best revenge, no revenge. Don't argue. J just let them win. They will suffer every day, month by month, year by year. Sitting down waiting while you're out there getting some money and starting your career and starting your business and pushing forward. They're still sitting down in the same spot waiting for you to attack them. They can't move forward. They can't say like they invest all their time waiting on, waiting on you to attack. Sorry that they have no time to further their career. They don't have no time to get no money. They don't have no time to work on themselves and make themselves a better human because they're sitting down waking up every day waiting on you to attack. They're having sleepless nights because they're waiting on you. You don't think that's better? Let me tell you something. There's two ways to get back at somebody. Well, technically more than two ways, but I'm going to focus on two important ways, physically and mentally. You can hit somebody and their wound will heal. But you see when you attack them mentally, indirectly, that's even more devastating. You know why? Because that person is constantly thinking about what to expect from you. The best revenge? No revenge. They will suffer. That's why most times if somebody do something to you and you and like like let's say somebody betray you and you know it was them but you never confronted them and then they try to be friends with you and you cut them off and you move on when you see that person again they are miserable because number one they are wondering if you knew that it was them number two they're waiting on you to come and confront them to see if you know that it was them so with that being said every time they see you they can't look you directly in your eyes because they don't know if you know that it was them and they're sitting down waiting every day, day by day, they're waiting because they don't know if you know. So the best revenge, like I said, you forgive them, you let it go, you move on. What you know, they don't know. So with that being said, that's your power. That's, your, that's the strongest power you got when you figure it out. 
don't confront them. Don't if you go confront somebody for betraying you or treating you wrong or cheated on you or did something unfair to you, and you go confront them, you already know, and they already know. So why this? What, what it, it makes zero sense for you to go to them and explain to them exactly what they did. But you see. When you go to them and explain, that's you confronting them that you're hurt. So after you confronted them and you guys argue back and forth, they are pleased with themselves because they receive that what it like whatever when you attack them, they received it. So they can say, prepare themselves. You know, argue back and forth or negotiate in uh, caps. You know, you guys discuss what was going on, blah, 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 blah. You guys throw hands, blah, 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 blah. Then after that, they may cut you off. You guys may not be friends again, but they are going to be able to move forward because they don't have to use their mental energy waiting on you to attack. But you see, when you say nothing and you do nothing, bro, growing up, people that are older than me always say the best thing to do is absolutely nothing and the older i get the more i come to realize that it is true it is real that's why i decided to share this on my channel because i make motivational videos not just trying stuff or moving around i make motivational videos for people that needs to hear stuff that i talk about like some motivational videos a lot of stuff are not said and a lot of stuff are not discussed so that's me but like i was saying People always tell me, do nothing, relax, don't need to do this, don't. And I used to wonder why. But like I said, the older I get, they're going to suffer. They will suffer. What you think is best, you blasting out your anger at them, and they receive your rage, and probably channel it, and like, exchange uh, fists, and blah, 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 blah. And then after that, they are heal and move on, and they go on with their lives. Or, you accept the fact that they did whatever they did they know what they do you don't have to go to them and explain to them what they did because you already acknowledge that they are fully aware that they did it and you are fully aware that they did it to you and you are fully aware that they know exactly what they were doing when they do whatever they did so with that being said what do you think is better cutting them off letting it go move on enjoy your life and let them sit there for 5, 10, 15 years suffering, waiting on you to attack? Or let yourself well, lose control, probably end up in prison, probably uh, eliminate somebody, or do some stuff and turn your whole life sideways. And then that per person on the opposite side is pleased with themselves because they did you wrong, so they're expecting you to do something back to them. And then when you do something back to them, then they are, they're pretty much okay because they do stuff. That this is why when you fight somebody and you beat them up, this is why they come back the next day. Because they, they're not accepting that. But the moment you do something to somebody and they accept it, they move past that. So a person can betray you and you can confront them. They will probably cut you off, argue back and forth, and then they're going to move past it. But when you do nothing they won't be able to move past that because that's mental abuse not saying mental abuse but you're attacking them mentally by doing absolutely nothing because they're getting up every day stalking you watching you uh on your profile seeing what you're doing wondering how you're able to move forward in life and they can't they may not know that it's because they invest all their mental energy waiting on you but but they are preparing themselves for you to attack. Let me put it in a better, a better way. Say you're going to go pick somebody up. The longer they have you waiting, the more irritated you get. Follow? So you drive, to, say you say, okay, we're going to go here and I'll pick you up at say seven. If they have you waiting, say two minutes, not so bad, right? Five minutes, you're like, mm, they must be doing something really interesting. Ten minutes, you start checking, like, what the hell are they doing? Fifteen minutes, you start. Twenty minutes, you, you start shaking and you're probably questioning yourself, ah, should I drive off or what? Thirty minutes, you're like, this person is not even interested. So it's the same thing. The longer you wait, the more frustrated things are for you. If you're playing your music, you probably turn it down. If you got some food or if you're eating something, the longer you wait, you got no appetite. 
whatever you were doing, you probably went there happy. And then just from you waiting too long, you're more irritated the longer you wait. And then when that person comes, the first thing you're going to say is what? I want you to say it before I say it. If you're waiting on somebody for so long and then they come, what is the first thing you're going to say? Exactly. What took you so long? What were you doing? I've been out here for 30 minutes. Same thing. Same thing. That person that kept you waiting is not so irritated because they were probably busy getting ready. They were probably showering or doing something or putting their clothes on or ironing. They were doing something to keep their time occupied while you were there sitting down and waiting on them. So it's the same thing. A person did you wrong. They're sitting down and they're waiting on you to attack. But you are not focusing on them because you're busy doing everything else. You're focusing on yourself, focusing in the gym, getting some money, uh, furthering your career, starting a business. That's what you're focusing on. You even forget that you guys have an altercation. You, you forget about all that to the point where, you know, you're traveling, you're doing road trips, you're eating good food, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're having family time, you're starting a family, you have kids, you buy a house, you buy a car, you, you know, you're, you're moving forward. And that person is still sitting down in the same spot waiting on you. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So when you're sitting down and you're waiting for 30 minutes or 45 minutes, you're irritated the longer you sit, as I said. And then when the person that you were waiting on comes there, then all of a sudden you want to let out your frustration. Oh, what took you so long? Blah, 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 blah. And if they argue back, you're going to be arguing back. You know what I mean? But if you guys argue back and forth, then you let off some steam. So after you drive off, you don't feel as bad as how you did when you were waiting. But if they walk inside, open the car door, sit down, bloom, attitude and everything, then what? First thing you're going to say is, so I said something you don't respond. You're even more irritated. You probably don't even want to go nowhere anymore because they don't acknowledge the fact that they kept you waiting. They don't acknowledge the fact that you said 7 o'clock and it's now 7.45 and what the hell they were doing. They didn't explain what they were doing. They just came in, sit down, shut the car door, put their seatbelt on and sit down and look. And you're sitting down there waiting on an explanation. And also... If you go to pick somebody up on your outside and you're waiting for 30, 45 minutes or an hour and you call them and you, you, you know, like you call, you text, still nothing. And they sit down there doing whatever. They don't answer the phone. What are you going to do? You're going to drive off because you're frustrated. Yeah. That's human nature. You see, when you know how to use your brain, the things you can do by doing absolutely nothing. I'm, bro, I'm telling you this. You guys are probably wondering, like, how old are you? I'm not 30 yet. <laughs> I'm not 30 yet. But you can, like, you can achieve a lot when you know how to use your brain. Trust me. I think I may do a lot more videos like self-control and self-discipline. Like, those type of stuff. I want to go deeper down in those kind of, that kind of stuff. But this is for the best revenge. No revenge. You forgive them, you let it go, and you move on. Bro, I'm telling you, I don't care how bad somebody hurt you. I don't care who, who betrayed you. I don't care who cheated on you. I don't care who uh, made your life go sad. I don't care what it is. Forgiveness is for you. So when you hold a grudge against them, you're just as bad as them. And if you hold a grudge against somebody, it's going to be hard for you yourself to get up and move forward because you spend all your time investing all your energy Hating on them. That's just how it is. If you ever wonder why you can't move forward, or notice whenever somebody do you something and you're angry at them, you wait patiently just to get in contact with them just so you can explode. You can tell them just how you feel and how they make you feel. You want to tell them everything. You want to curse them out. But when you do absolutely nothing, like trust me, people know exactly what they're doing. Don't come, oh, I don't know nothing, I don't know. No, everybody know what they're doing. Even a one-year-old know what they're doing. When they want stuff, they point, they know exactly what they want. Best revenge? No revenge. They will suffer. Because they will get up every single day, day by day. They will have sleepless nights. They can't move forward. They can't enjoy their life. All because they're sitting down waiting on you to attack. 
an attack that's never coming or never going to come. So they're sitting down waiting on something that's never going to happen. You know how long a person is going to sit down and wait for you to attack? Huh? Every day. They're going to wake up in the, middle of the, in the middle of the night, sorry, wondering what's going on. What's taking you so long? They probably sit down and be like, damn, it's, I, I did this to this person, say, three years ago every day and how much stuff can you achieve in three years by letting it go and moving forward and enjoying your life and getting some money huh and that person is sitting down for three years holding on to what they did to you and waiting on you to attack that's the best revenge they will suffer mentally that's why most times when people do something to you and you see them out in public they look miserable that's why they look unstable well, mentally unstable, I should say. That's why. Do absolutely nothing. Forgive them. Let it go and move on. I'm telling you, if you really want to get back at somebody because they do you something, trust me, do absolutely nothing. And then sit back and watch that person suffer. Suffering is better than exploding on them and letting them know exactly what they did and how you feel. Once a person know how you feel towards what they do, it's easier for them to let it go and move past it because they already know how you feel. But when you're sitting down every day wondering if you know, wondering if you're if if you're behind whatever they did, bro, trust me. Trust me, because you got some people that will do stuff directly, and you got some other people that will do stuff indirectly. You see those people that do stuff indirectly? They're gonna sit down and wonder every day what happened. You, oh, you changed on me, blah, 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 blah. That's why sometimes people say you change or you're acting different because they have no idea if you were fully aware that it was them. They probably manipulated somebody else in order to do their dirty work. But at the end of the day, they're the ones that are behind it. They're the brains behind it. And then if you sit down and you put everything together and you're like, shoot, so that person used this person to do that to me? And it's always the one closest to you are trying to take you down. Trust me. But when you sit down and you, you, you put everything together and you got an answer and you notice that that was a person, when they see you, they're going to be different because they're going to wonder if you know that it was them. They're gonna, if they come and they're like, hey, what's going on? Next time you see them, they'll probably be like, hey. Yeah, they're going to be different because they're wondering if you know. Trust me, bro. Trust me. Best revenge? No revenge. Do absolutely nothing. If you know, that's your power. That's your greatest strength by knowing and doing absolutely nothing. Trust me. The most powerful people on this planet is the ones that learn how to control themselves and learn how to let go and watch people suffer. You see them? They walk right past them. You don't need to exchange eye contact with them. But trust me, you see, if you take a good look at them, <laughs> you'll see that they're suffering. They may not say that they are, because when you walk past, they hold their head down. Let them hold their head down when you walk by them. Trust me. They're ashamed of themselves. That's why when you walk past them, they hold their head down. They can't look you in your eyes, because they're embarrassed. And they're being attacked mentally by you, without you even doing anything, because their brain is running 24-7 thinking of different things oh did, did did he know that it was me oh but nothing led to me but oh th th there was this one thing that led to me i wonder if they know they're going to be thinking consistently about a lot of possibilities of the ways how you can find out that it's them bro this world that we live in if you do nothing people will suffer i don't care what they did to you they betrayed you, they lied to you, they cheat on you, they, 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 they hit you, whatever the case may be. I don't care what they do. Forgive them, let it go, and move on, and sit back and watch them suffer. The best revenge? No revenge. If you didn't hear this before, you're hearing it from me. And if you don't believe me, for you guys that are, say, under, say, 20 or mid-20s, and you don't really believe me, ask your parents. The best revenge, no revenge. The person on the opposite side will suffer. And like I said, they're going to be waking up every single day 
using their brain power, wondering if you know that it's them. Wondering when you're going to hit them back. Notice if you're at school or you're at somewhere and you punch somebody or you see somebody punch someone. Notice the person that hit first always prepare themselves to get hit back. Always. They always do that. And then when you don't hit them back and then things go sideways, you see them looking, watching their backs. Even if you're not going to do nothing to them, you see them using all their time and energy watching their backs. It's the same thing. Do absolutely nothing. It may be hard, but you got to look within yourself and forget. If you really want to get back at somebody, like really, really want to get back at them, do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Doing nothing is more powerful than doing something. It's more powerful than doing something. Trust me. But you didn't hear from me. You did not hear from me. <laughs> so there you guys have it i hope this message was useful for some of you guys thank you very much for watching remember to like comment subscribe and stay tuned i will be back trying and doing a bunch of other stuff and making more motivational videos you go enjoy the rest of your day i'm out and don't forget to follow me on social media i post daily on them